Today, I would like to welcome you to the first part in a six part series, which will show you the absolute best way to capture, edit, and then upload games to YouTube in the highest possible quality. So they come out looking just like the clips from the professional YouTubers out there that we all enjoy watching so much. We'll be capturing game clips in 1080p, 60 FPS, both with and without chat recording, using a laptop and the Elgato HD60 game capture card. I'll be showing you how to do a fast, high quality edit and explaining which settings to use to render those game clips out in Sony Vegas and then covering how to upload those same clips to YouTube using custom thumbnails, tags, descriptions and the titles that you'll need for a professional result. In this first video I'll be running through the Elgato HD60 hardware setup with a PS4, Xbox One or PC including how to use any wired headphones you like or a set of wireless headphones and I'll also show you how to play your own music while gaming in a very quick and easy to understand fashion to get you up and running as soon as possible. Straight up, if you watch the series from start to finish, you're going to know everything that you need to about game capturing, editing and uploading with various setups to get some legit results. So stay locked, ask any questions or request tutorials in the comments below, crush that like button and yeah, I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ bringing you reviews, tutorials and game clips minus the sh**. You can follow me on Twitter at facepalm with a one not an L as for here on YouTube If you like what you find then like comment and subscribe. Don't forget to bring your game face. Let's get it done So in this first video I'll explain how to set up the Elgato HD 60 and your PS4 Xbox one or PC With or without any wired headphones or a set of wireless headphones like the Astro A40s and A50s or the Turtle Beach headsets. This setup is good for recording clips for a YouTube montage for example with no voice chat or anything which is the setup that I use the most. In the second video I'll show you how to configure and use the Elgato software which will include the best settings to use to get the highest quality game captures possible. The third video will explain how to record your voice with your game clips and the fourth video will show you how to record the game chat of you and your friends and I'll show you how to do that webcam in the corner of thing so you can do daily vlog or trolling style clips and also be basically set up for streaming. The fifth video will be editing in Sony Vegas covering techniques and the best settings to get you a legit result ready to upload to YouTube and finally the sixth video will cover the best upload settings for YouTube including custom thumbnails, titles, descriptions and tips and tricks to make sure that your video ranks as high as the content will take it. So to save time you can click on any of the links on the screen now to take you to the video you want to watch. I do recommend though that you watch these videos in order to get the most out of them as the setups in the later videos rely on the setups in the videos that come before them. So let's get straight into part one, setting up the Elgato HD60, wireless headphones, any wired headphones and playing music when gaming. Long title but we'll be covering all that in the coming minutes. So first we'll cover the equipment you'll need to get started which I'll also list in the description below. So obviously you'll need something like a PC or gaming console, for instance a PlayStation 3 or 4 or an Xbox 360 or Xbox One to play games on and the HDMI cable that came with them. You'll need an Elgato Game Capture HD60 and also the HDMI cable and USB 2 cables that came with that and you'll need a PC, laptop or Mac. Uh, I use the Microsoft Surface Pro 4 but the Surface Pro 2 or higher will work perfectly uh, to record the game clips. And you'll also want the software for the Elgato HD60. And optionally you'll need any wired headphones or one of the wireless headphone setups that I mentioned before. For this video I'll be using a PS4 as my console but the hardware setup is identical for the Xbox One or a gaming PC. The software settings I'll explain will vary slightly from PS4 to Xbox but you won't have any trouble figuring out what's what and I'll quickly cover the extra PC setup steps that you'll need uh, to take to prevent any issues with gaming on a PC instead of a PS4 or Xbox. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is download and install the Elgato HD60 software from their website onto your laptop. So you go to elgato.com and head over and click the gaming tab, uh, then click downloads and support in the top right and look in the Elgato gaming section. Uh, click on game capture HD60 and then download the latest driver which will always be the top one. Install that software and once that is done, restart your laptop. Now that's done, you are ready to connect your equipment. So a hot tip here to make this a lot easier to understand is to think about the signal flow when connecting equipment. Where is the signal, i.e. the video and audio coming from and where do you want it to go to? So if we think about it, we want the video and audio to go out of the PS4 and into the Elgato HD60. Then out of the Elgato HD60 and into our TV or monitor so we 
can play the game without any lag because obviously lag is a bad thing. At the same time, we also want the game video and audio that's coming out of your PS4, Xbox or PC to go into our laptop so that we can record it. So if we look at it, the signal essentially needs to be split into two parts here in the Elgato and sent in two different directions at the same time. Fortunately, this is what the Elgato HD60 does very well and in an elegantly simple way. So first, let's get the signal coming out of the PS4 or Xbox and going into the Elgato HD60. So connect the HDMI cable from the HDMI output port on the back of the PS4 and plug that into the HDMI input port on the HD60. Why? Because we are sending signal out of the PS4 and into the HD60. Simple, right? Next, let's send that signal out of the HD60 and into our TV or monitor so we can play our game without any lag or delay. So connect a second HDMI cable from the HDMI output port on the HD60 and into the HDMI input port on your TV or monitor. Now, we also want to capture and record our game's video and audio signal to our laptop. To do this, we need to send that same game signal out of the HD60 and into the Elgato software on our laptop where it will be captured. So what the Elgato HD60 does so well is it splits the video and audio signal into two identical parts. One part will go to our TV or monitor and the second part will go to the Elgato software on our laptop. So to get this happening correctly, connect the USB cable that came with the HD60 from the mini USB output on the HD60 to the USB 2 or 3 port on your Surface Pro laptop, PC, Mac or whatever you are using to capture your clips. This USB cable will send your video and audio signal out of the HD60 and into the laptop to be recorded. Keep in mind here that the USB cable also supplies the power needed for the HD60 to run, so if it's not connected by USB cable, then you won't get picture on either the TV or the laptop. So you get how signal flow works, right? Signal flow always flows out of things and then into things. Just like when you're pouring a glass of water, the water flows out of the tap and into our glass. In the case of this setup, our signal flows out of the PS4 and into the Elgato HD60. The HD60 splits the signal, sends one signal out of the HD60 and into your TV or monitor in real time, and it also sends a copy of that same signal out of the HD60 and into your computer to be recorded. Simples. Now let's set up our console settings correctly. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn off HDCP on your PS4 or Xbox One. HDCP stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection, and this content protection prevents us from recording game clips. So we need to turn this off so that we can record game clips. To do this, go into your console settings menu, go down to system, and scroll down to enable HDCP, and untick the box next to it. Just be aware that while HDCP is disabled, you won't be able to play Blu-ray movies, so if you want to watch a movie from a Blu-ray disc or DVD, just go back into this menu and retick the Enable HDCP box. Now go back out to the Settings menu and go up to Devices, select Audio Devices, and under Output Device, make sure that TV or Amplifier is selected here. This will send the game audio from our PS4 through the HD60 and then onto our TV or monitor so that we can hear it. And as we are using an HDMI cable to make that connection, we need to go back out to the settings menu and scroll on up to sound and screen. Then go down to audio output settings and under primary output port, select HDMI. Now your game video and audio will be coming out of your TV or monitor. But what if instead of having the sound coming out of the TV or monitor, you want to use wired headphones, a home stereo, or even wireless headphones like the Astro A40s or 50s, or Turtle Beach Stealth 400s? You connect the headphones to the PS4, right? Well, no, and yes, c kind of. Actually, the setup for wired headphones will be different to the setup for wireless headphones due to the signal flow that I've been talking about. So first, let's set up some normal wired headphones as this is the easiest to set up and you can use any wired headphones with a 3.5mm audio jack like this on them. For example, the Sennheiser HD25 Mark IIs, which are the headphones that I use. If you have wired headphones with a USB connection, like the Turtle Beach P12s or Kingston HyperXs, then you won't be able to use that USB connection when recording with the Elgato HD60. Instead, you would just use the 3.5mm audio cable that came with the headphones, and you'll see why in a second. 
Also, if you have wireless headphones, which have a little 3.5 mil aux input on them uh, for audio, you can use them as wired headphones also. So remember how we sent the video and audio signal from out of the PS4 and into the HD60, then out of the HD60 and into the TV or monitor? Well, this is where the sound is coming from now. The speakers on your TV or monitor, as this is where the signal has flowed to. It's no longer in the PS4. So if we want sound to come out of our headphones, we need to plug those headphones into the TV or monitor to pick up the sound from there. So go ahead and plug your headphones into your TV or monitor's headphone socket now. Uh, if your headphone cable isn't long enough, you can buy a headphone extension cable for like two bucks off eBay or Amazon or wherever. But what if your TV doesn't have a headphone output socket on it. Well, you will instead need to send game audio from out of the PS4's optical output port on the back of the PS4, which looks like this, via an optical cable, which looks like this, into a mixer and amp and speaker combo, i.e. a home stereo with an optical input on it, which could use either of these ADAT or Toslink ports and connectors. Then you would pick up the sound from there by plugging your headphones into that home stereo's headphone output jack. This home stereo setup can actually be quite good because it will let you switch between your stereo speakers and your headphones by flicking a switch on the stereo. You'll also need to change a few of your console's menu settings and I'll show you which settings to change after I cover the next part, which is wireless headphones. Now, I want you to keep in mind here that from now on, whenever I talk about Turtle Beach or Astro headphones, I mean any wireless headphone setup that has an optical input on it and a USB cable that sends audio at the same time. For example, the Astro A40s and A50s with with the Mixamp Pro or the Turtle Beach Stealth 400s. If you are unsure if the headphones you are looking at buying or using have both these info inputs, check the manual online and it will tell you. So, Unfortunately, due to the way the PS4s handle audio, you can't use wireless headphones like Sony's PlayStation Gold headphones for game capturing, as those headphones don't have an optical audio input on them. Why won't they work? Well, because if we send the audio directly out of the PS4 and straight into those headphones, it wouldn't be going to the Elgato HD60 for us to be able to send it onto our laptop to be recorded. So again, think about the signal flow. Trust me, it sounds like a pain in the ass, but this is the one part that will make your life a whole lot easier whenever you are trying to set this shit up. So to set up wireless headphones correctly, we're going to leave all the cables connected as if we were going to use wired headphones through our TV, minus the headphones. First, we're going to run an optical cable out of the back of the PS4's optical output port and run that into our Turtle Beach's transmitter or Astro Mixamp Pro's optical input. This will send the game's audio out from the PS4 and into the stereo, transmitter or Mixamp via our optical cable, which will then send game audio to our headphones so that we can hear it. Then you're going to plug your Turtle Beach's USB transmitter or Astro Mixamp's USB cable into your PS4 or Xbox's USB port so that it gets the power that it needs to operate. Now, if you want to play music in the background while you're gaming, at this point, you can just play it as you usually would through your laptop speakers. Or, alternatively, we can send the music through to your headphones. So how do we get it coming through the headphones? Well, you can only do it on the wireless headphone setup that I've just described. And you will need to plug that USB cable we just talked about into your laptop and not your PS4 or Xbox. Why? Because we will be sending the music down that USB cable. And if there's no USB cable between the laptop and our headphone transmitter or mix amp for the music to travel down, then it won't be able to reach our headphones. So it's up to you. If you want to play music in the background through your headphones, plug the USB cable into your laptop. If you don't care about playing your own tunes while gaming, then feel free to plug the USB cable into your console if you want. So now that we are using wireless headphones and sending the audio signal flow in a different direction than we would with wired headphones, we need to change some of the settings in our PS4 or Xbox settings menus. First, let's send the audio out from our console and into the stereo wireless headphone transmitter or mix amp we have connected via that optical cable. So in your console's menu, go into your settings. Then go all the way down to sound and screen and then choose audio output settings. Click on primary output port and choose digital out optical. Then select the input format supported by your headphones. In the case of the Astros, this will be the Dolby Digital Sound 5.1 option. But in the case of the Turtle Beach headphones, which don't support Dolby Sound, you would just have the linear PCM options checked. 
If you're unsure whether your headphones support Dolby Digital Sound or not, check the manual for whatever wireless headphones you're using, or just try them all and see which one works. So changing the settings tells our PS4 or Xbox to direct our game audio out of the console and into our stereo Turtle Beach transmitter or Astro mix amp via the optical cable so that we can hear it in our headphones. So now under audio format priority, if you are using Astros, choose Bitstream Dolby. This will tell the PS4 to let the high quality converters on the Astros mix amp convert our digital audio, which is just computer data that we can't hear, into analog audio that we can hear. If you choose linear PCM, the PS4's converter will do the conversion from digital to analog audio instead, which you may need to choose if your headphones don't support Dolby Digital Sound. Either way, the sound quality is going to be fine. At this point, it's a good idea to double check that the PS4 is still sending game audio to our Elgato HD60 to be recorded. So go back out to the settings menu and head on over to devices. Then select audio devices and under output device, choose TV or amplifier. This will ensure that the audio is still being sent out via the HDMI cable on the back of the PS4 and into the Elgato HD60 for recording. One thing I want to mention here is that sometimes when these settings get changed around, you may need to restart your console to kick them into gear. And finally, there is a third option to get the sound and video all working correctly if you don't have a stereo or Astro style mix amp, or if your TV doesn't have a headphone jack output. Uh, you can do this by running the audio out of the PS4 or Xbox's controller and into the the Elgato HD60 using a couple of cables you can find on eBay or a chat link cable made by Elgato. This actually gets you a really low quality sound recording and as I'm trying to show you guys how to get pro quality results here, we're just going to skip that option altogether. Now, as a quick side note, for those who are capturing PC gaming instead of console gaming, this all works the same way. The video and audio will be sent out of the HDMI output port on your graphics card into the HD60, then out of the HD60 and into your computer monitor. So the same rules apply and the audio will now be coming out of your computer monitor. So if you're using wired headphones, then that's where they should be plugged into, into the back of your computer monitor. So a quick tip here, if you are a PC gamer instead of a console gamer, if you can't get audio coming out of the headphones that are plugged into your computer monitor, there are three things to check. I would start by right clicking on this PC or my computer, uh, clicking manage and going to device manager and checking that nothing in this list has a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark next to it. In particular, the audio inputs and outputs, display adapters, monitors, sound video and game controllers and the USB serial bus controllers. If any do have that yellow triangle next to them, right click on the offending icon, choose properties, click on driver and choose update driver, making sure you are connected to the internet as this is where the computer will search for the drivers. Also make sure that the driver is enabled. So it should give you the option to disable it, which is how you want it, as this means the driver is currently running. Secondly, I would close out of that and go down to the right hand side of the taskbar, right click on the speaker icon, click playback devices and ensure that HDMI is set as the default option under the playback tab. If it isn't showing up here, right Right click in the blank space and make sure both the show disabled devices and the show disconnected devices lines are ticked. The HDMI option should now show up uh, if it is connected properly. Right click that and choose enable and then choose set as default. And thirdly, check your drivers are up to date for both the Elgato software and also for all your PC components, like your graphics card and motherboard audio drivers. Failing that, if you're having issues, hit me up in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out. So now you should have your PS4, Xbox or PC connected to your Elgato HD60, laptop and TV or monitor correctly, as well as possibly wired or wireless headphones set up, ready to go and you will be able to play your own music while gaming. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the Elgato software and which settings to use to capture the highest possible quality game clips, and a link will pop up in a second to take you directly to that video. So on that note, don't forget to smash the like button and comment below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. Just remember you can follow me on Twitter at Facepalm with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. But don't forget to bring your game face. Facepalm, out.